In Victoria, the most abundant gold-saturated rocks exist in the geological province known as the Castlemaine Group. This group of mudstones, sandstones, siltstones and shale was deposited by turbidites, which are underwater landslides some 485 to 470 million years ago. The Castlemaine Group is a host of sedimentary rocks that have been injected with gold-bearing quartz. From Bendigo to Ballarat, the richest gold fields are in areas where the Castlemaine Group has been exposed to the surface. They are represented by the blue colour on the geological map, and gold eroded en masse from this lithology. But the recent basaltic eruptions have covered much of it in parts of Western Victoria. But in this video, we are heading far away from the Golden Triangle to an area southeast of Melbourne, and we are going to take a look at a geological anomaly that only exists in the Mornington Peninsula, at least in this part of Victoria. And I'll explain why gold exists in this region. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to our channel. We have a Patreon for anyone who is interested in supporting us to help create this kind of content more regularly. You can find a link to that below or at patreon.com slash ozgeology. Alternatively, you can click the join button to support the channel on YouTube. The Mornington Peninsula is strange in that the typical strata that we find in Melbourne doesn't exist here. Instead, we have a small outcropping of the Castlemaine Group near Mount Martha. This is strange and rare. You will not find this outcropping anywhere else in Melbourne. Much of it has been covered by the proceeding sedimentary deposits that make up the Melbourne region. This host of sedimentary rocks is appropriately named the Melbourne Formation, and it is joined by the Anderson Creek Formation, which in itself also hosts gold. This gold was mined in Warrandyte and in the Ringwood area, and these two sedimentary lithologies were deposited during the Silurian, which began 443.8 million years ago, and ended 419.2 million years ago. But the Castlemaine group of rocks were deposited during the Ordovician, which is much older, with a date ranging from 485.4 million years ago to the start of the Silurian period 443.8 million years ago. The exposure of the Castlemaine group led to a gold rush that was short-lived but profitable for those who found and exploited the tiny land where the Castlemaine group existed on the Mornington Peninsula. There were three gold rushes in this area, but the two areas where gold was exploited and documented on geological maps are called the Bulldog Creek and Tubberubba Creek gold diggings. These diggings commenced around 1851, and the workings consisted of both alluvial and hard rock mining. In 1895, a rich patch of gold was discovered near the old Tubberubba diggings at Bulldog Creek. Volcanic eruptions occurred here during the Lutetian, some 47.8 to 41.2 million years ago, covering much of the Castlemaine group over with basaltic rocks. But you can still see small pockets where it is exposed. Along with this, we also have recently deposited sandstone known as the Red Bluff Sandstone, which also covers the Castlemaine group, and it was deposited between the Miocene to Pliocene, which spanned between 23 to 2.58 million years ago. Beneath the basalt and sandstone exists gold just waiting to be found, and the exposure of the Castlemaine group here proves this to be the case. The diggings were shallow and yielded some good gold for the prospectors who opened the field up. But today, the gold mining history of this area is largely forgotten about, sadly, which is why I wanted to make this video. Gold exists all throughout Melbourne. It's deep in most parts, but this shallow area where the Castlemaine group was exposed shows that Melbourne is hiding vast and valuable treasures beneath it. Like I've said previously, it's just hiding beneath cheeky basalt, and in this case, also beneath cheeky sandstone. So grab a shovel and start digging. You never know what you'll find. These prospectors did, and they were greatly rewarded for their efforts. Thanks for watching.